You know, I'm feeling really good about the race this weekend. I've gotten my time down, and it looks like the weather's gonna be good. Yeah, it's supposed to be beautiful on Saturday. And you've been running really well. You've actually been pushing me. <laughs> if I do well this weekend, I'm actually thinking about starting to train for the marathon. Hey, count me in for that. I've always wanted to train for a marathon. But I didn't want to put in all the work by myself. Besides, it'd be great to have a buddy to train with. <laughs> by the way, how's work going? All that bad, huh? Kelly! Kelly! Kelly, what's wrong? Are you okay? Kelly! Somebody help! Every 90 seconds, another person dies from sudden cardiac arrest. But thanks to the quick actions of people like you, dedicated to learning how to save a life, Kelly will live to run again. Let us through. Everybody step back, please. Scene is safe. We can take it from here, sir. Well, you guys got here quick. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? He's not responding. He's not breathing normally, just gasping. Grab the AED. There's no pulse. One, two, three, four, Remember, five, six. Remember, push hard seven, and fast. Eight, nine, At least ten, two inches seven, or five four, centimeters. 13, 14, 15, 15, His chest 15, needs to completely 15, recoil 15, after 15, each 15, compression. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Analyze Everybody clear? Heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Let's switch now. Shock needed. Charging. Stay clear. AD says patient. shock advised. Everybody Press clear? The flashing button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. One, two, Start three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, eight, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Let's switch again. Shock needed. Stay clear of patient. Charging. Press the flashing Everybody clear. button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. One, two, three, Start four, with compression. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Stay clear of patient. Everybody clear? Let's switch. No shock needed. He's breathing, and it's normal. There's a pulse. Let's get ready to transport. I thought I was in great shape. I mean, here I am toying around with the idea of running a marathon, and the next thing I know, I'm in the back of an ambulance on my way to the hospital. I mean, how do you say thanks? Those people saved my life. There's no doubt about it. I am so grateful to those rescuers. They knew exactly what to do. Eddie said that they were there within minutes, and they performed like a well-oiled machine. What you've just seen is a textbook rescue, performed by a well-trained professional team. Today, you're going to learn to react and perform at the same level. On any given day, you could come across a victim of cardiac arrest where your actions and training can determine the outcome. Beginning with the scenario you've just witnessed, you're going to learn basic life support, or BLS, for healthcare providers. You'll learn how to initiate the chain of survival, recognizing cardiac arrest, and activating the emergency response system, perform one and two rescuer adult CPR with breathing devices, and use an AED. Later, you will learn how to perform child CPR, infant CPR, and how to assist a person who is choking. The AHA has adopted, supported, and helped develop the concept of emergency cardiovascular care systems for many years. The term chain of survival provides a useful metaphor for elements of the ECC systems concept. The five links in the adult chain of survival are immediate recognition of cardiac arrest and activation of the emergency response system, early CPR with an emphasis on chest compressions, rapid defibrillation, effective advanced life support, 
and integrated post-cardiac arrest care. The five links in the pediatric chain of survival are prevention of arrest, early high-quality bystander CPR, rapid activation of the EMS or other emergency response system, effective advanced life support, and integrated post-cardiac arrest care. But the most important link in the chain of survival is you. High-quality CPR improves a victim's chances of survival. There are several critical elements of high-quality CPR you should remember. Start compressions within 10 seconds of recognition of cardiac arrest. Push hard, push fast. Provide compressions at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute and at a depth of at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters for adults. Allow complete chest recoil after each compression. Minimize interruptions. Try to limit interruptions in compressions to less than 10 seconds. Give effective breaths that make the chest rise. Avoid excessive ventilation. There's no pulse. One, two, three. CPR begins with compressions. Because compressions are so important to a victim's survival, they need to be started immediately, within 10 seconds of recognition of cardiac arrest. Early CPR keeps the oxygen and blood flowing to the heart and brain, creating valuable life-saving time until spontaneous circulation is restored. One, two, three. To be most effective, CPR should be performed as a team with rescuers completing many tasks simultaneously. However, in order to be an effective team member, you need to master the individual skills of one rescuer CPR. For this training, we will isolate the individual skills rescuers perform and then put them together so you'll be prepared to deliver high-quality CPR and use an AED as a team. Coming through, coming through, stand back please. Scene is safe. The first step of BLS is assessment and scene safety. The first rescuer who arrives at the side of the victim must quickly be sure that the scene is safe. The rescuer should then assess the victim for a response and breathing. Hey, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? He isn't responding. Isn't breathing normally, just gasping, grab the AD. If the rescuer is alone, he or she would then call for help and get the AED. The next step is to check for a pulse. To perform a pulse check in the adult, feel for a carotid pulse. No pulse. This technique is usually easier to perform on the side near the rescuer. Locate the trachea using two or three fingers. Slide these fingers into the groove between the trachea and the muscles at the side of the neck, where you can feel the carotid pulse. Perform the pulse check for at least There's five no seconds pulse. and no more than One, ten seconds. Two, three, four, if you do not definitely two, feel a pulse, eight, immediately begin CPR starting with chest compressions, CAB sequence. Now we're going to learn how to do chest compressions. Just watch now. We'll practice momentarily. Position yourself at the victim's side and make sure that the victim is lying face up on a firm, flat surface. Quickly move or remove all clothing from the front of the chest. You will need to be able to see the chest and later attach an AED to bare skin. Put the heel of one hand on the center of the bare chest over the lower half of the breastbone. Then put the heel of your other hand on top of the first. Your shoulders should be right over your hands and your elbows should be straight. Push hard and fast. Press down at least two inches or five centimeters with each compression. This requires hard work. For each chest compression, make sure you push straight down on the victim's breastbone. Deliver compressions in a smooth fashion at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. At the end of each compression, make sure you allow the chest to recoil completely. Chest compression and chest recoil times should be approximately equal. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins and learn the skills of CPR.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, hey, Scott. Hey, Sam. How you doing? I'm looking forward to a few days of not being on call. <laughs> I didn't think you ever needed rest. Oh, I'm not resting. I've got my whole family coming into town this weekend, and they're expecting me to provide the entertainment. What's wrong? I think he's choking. Are you choking? I'm going to help you. Choking occurs when food or other items block a person's airway. In severe airway obstructions, the victim usually will have signs of poor air exchange and breathing difficulty, such as a silent cough, cyanosis or turning blue, and an inability to speak or breathe. The adult or older child may clutch the neck with both hands, making the universal choking sign. This is a signal to ask if the victim is choking. If the victim nods that he or she is choking and cannot talk, you must act. In a standing or kneeling victim, you'll perform an abdominal thrust often referred to as the Heimlich maneuver. Stand or kneel behind the victim and place your arms around the victim's waist. With one hand, locate the navel. Then make a fist with the other hand. Place the thumb side of your fist against the victim's abdomen, just above the navel and below the breastbone. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press your fist into the victim's abdomen with a quick, forceful upward thrust. Repeat thrusts until the object is expelled from the airway or the victim becomes unresponsive. If the victim is too large for you to wrap your arms around the waist, pregnant or overweight, for example, Wrap your arms around the victim's chest and do chest thrusts instead of abdominal thrusts. If your attempts to relieve choking in an adult or child are unsuccessful or the victim becomes unresponsive, send someone to activate the emergency response system. Perform CPR using the CAB sequence with one exception. Each time you open the airway to give breaths, look for the obstructing object in the back of the throat. If you see an object that can be easily removed, carefully remove it, but do not perform a blind finger sweep as the object may become lodged further back in the airway. Choking is also a fairly common emergency among infants. The steps to relieving choking in an infant are quite different than those for older children and adults. If you find an infant choking and they are responsive, first sit or kneel with the infant in your lap. Hold the infant face down with the head slightly lower than the chest, resting on your forearm. Support the head and jaw with your hand. Avoid compressing the soft tissues of the infant's throat. Rest your forearm on your thigh to provide support. Deliver up to five back slaps forcefully between the infant's shoulder blades using the heel of your hand. 
deliver each slap with sufficient force to attempt to remove the foreign body. Then place your free hand on the infant's back, supporting the head with the palm of your hand. This will cradle the infant between your two forearms as you turn the infant over while carefully supporting the head and neck. Keep the infant's head lower than the chest and deliver up to five quick downward chest thrusts the same way you perform compressions, just below the nipple line, over the lower half of the breastbone. Do this at a rate of about one per second. Repeat the sequence of five back slaps and five chest thrusts until the object is removed or the infant becomes unresponsive. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. Okay, now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. Are you ready? Here we go. Now you're going to learn how to work as part of a team. For some healthcare providers and other rescuers, a two-person or team rescue is far more common. In two rescuer CPR, each rescuer has a specific role. Rescuer 1 should be positioned at the victim's side. It is Rescuer 1's role to perform chest compressions, counting out loud. One, two, three, four. You have already learned the proper technique for compressions. Rescuer 2 should be positioned at the victim's head. It is Rescuer 2's role to maintain an open airway and give breaths with a bag mask while watching for chest rise and avoiding excessive ventilation. Rescuer 2 should also encourage Rescuer 1 to perform chest compressions that are fast and deep enough and to allow complete chest recoil between compressions. 7, 8. Remember, push hard and fast, at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters. His chest needs to fully recoil between compressions. 5, 26, 27, 20. As you are aware by now, giving good compressions can be very tiring. So in a two-person rescue scenario, it's important to switch roles about every two minutes to prevent fatigue. Every time the AED tells you to reanalyze, switch roles. If there is no AED present, switch roles after every five cycles of CPR. 
Now you know how to perform two-person rescue. But let's review some key points. The first rescuer performs chest compressions and counts out loud. The second rescuer maintains the open airway and gives breaths. The compression rate for two rescuer CPR is at least 100 compressions per minute. The compression ventilation ratio for adults is 30 to 2. Compression should be paused when giving breaths until an advanced airway is in place. When performing CPR without an AED, rescuers switch roles about every five cycles to prevent fatigue. When an AED is present, switch roles every time the AED tells you to reanalyze. This switch should take less than five seconds, minimizing hands-off time. The rescuer giving breaths must monitor the chest compressions that are being delivered, encourage the compressing rescuer to push at an adequate rate and depth, and allow complete chest recoil after each compression. Now we're going to pause the video to allow you to ask questions and prepare for the next section of the course, defibrillation. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the AED trainers you are using today, let's take one more look at the entire sequence of two rescuer adult BLS. Just watch now. You'll have a chance to practice momentarily. Let us through. Everybody step back, please. Seen is safe. We can take it from here, sir. Well, you guys got here quick. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? He's not responding. He's not breathing normally, just gasping. Grab the AED. There's no pulse. One, two, three, four. Remember, five, six, push hard seven, and fast, eight, nine, at least ten, two inches seven, or five 12, centimeters. 13, 14, His chest 15, needs to completely 16, recoil 15, after each 15, compression. 15, 15, 15, 15, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Analyzing Everybody clear? Heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Let's switch now. Shock needed. Charging. Stay clear. AD says shock patient. advised. Everybody Press clear? The flashing button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. One. Two, Start three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 8, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Patient. Let's switch again. Shock needed. Stay clear of patient. Charging. Press the Everybody clear. button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. One, two, three, Start four, with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Stay clear of patient. Everybody clear? Let's switch. No shock needed. He's breathing, and it's normal. There's a pulse. Let's get ready to transport. Right now, we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice the full sequence of two rescuer adult BLS. Now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice, and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. Are you ready? Here we go. As with an adult, if a choking infant becomes unresponsive, shout for help. Then lay the infant on a hard, flat surface. Perform CPR with one exception. Each time you open the airway to give breaths, Look for the obstructing object in the back of the throat. Chest compressions may help move the object so you can remove it. Once you can see the object, carefully try to remove it. Never perform a blind finger sweep. You only want to sweep for an object if you can see it. If you are alone, after about two minutes or five cycles of CPR, activate the emergency response system. So you've learned the proper BLS rescue techniques of CPR, rescue breathing, and treatment of choking. 
and know how to react in a one or two person rescue situation. Now you get to show how well you've learned. Your instructor will evaluate each of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. High quality CPR improves a victim's chances of survival. There are several critical elements of high quality CPR you should remember. Start compressions within 10 seconds of recognition of cardiac arrest. Push hard, push fast, provide compressions at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute and at a depth of at least two inches or five centimeters for adults. Allow complete chest recoil after each compression Minimize interruptions. Try to limit interruptions in compressions to less than 10 seconds. Give effective breaths that make the chest rise. Avoid excessive ventilation. There's no pulse. One, two, three. CPR begins with compressions. Because compressions are so important to a victim's survival, they need to be started immediately, within 10 seconds of recognition of cardiac arrest. Early CPR keeps the oxygen and blood flowing to the heart and brain, creating valuable life-saving time until spontaneous circulation is restored. One, two, three, to be most effective, CPR should be performed as a team with rescuers completing many tasks simultaneously. However, in order to be an effective team member, you need to master the individual skills of one rescuer CPR. For this training, we will isolate the individual skills rescuers perform and then put them together so you'll be prepared to deliver high quality CPR and use an AED as a team. Coming through, coming through, stand back please. Scene is safe. The first step of BLS is assessment and scene safety. The first rescuer who arrives at the side of the victim must quickly be sure that the scene is safe. The rescuer should then assess the victim for a response and breathing. Hey, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? He isn't responding. Isn't breathing normally, just gasping, grab the AD. If the rescuer is alone, he or she would then call for help and get the AED. The next step is to check for a pulse. To perform a pulse check in the adult, feel for a carotid pulse. No pulse. This technique is usually easier to perform on the side near the rescuer. Locate the trachea using two or three fingers. Slide these fingers into the groove between the trachea and the muscles at the side of the neck, where you can feel the carotid pulse. Perform the pulse check for at least There's five no seconds pulse. and no more than One, ten seconds. Two, three, four, if you do not definitely five, feel a pulse, eight, eight, immediately begin CPR starting with chest compressions. CAB sequence. Now we're going to learn how to do chest compressions. Just watch now 
will practice momentarily. Position yourself at the victim's side and make sure that the victim is lying face up on a firm, flat surface. Quickly move or remove all clothing from the front of the chest. You will need to be able to see the chest and later attach an AED to bare skin. Put the heel of one hand on the center of the bare chest over the lower half of the breastbone. Then put the heel of your other hand on top of the first. Your shoulders should be right over your hands and your elbows should be straight. Push hard and fast. Press down at least two inches or five centimeters with each compression. This requires hard work. For each chest compression, make sure you push straight down on the victim's breastbone. Deliver compressions in a smooth fashion at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. At the end of each compression, make sure you allow the chest to recoil completely. Chest compression and chest recoil times should be approximately equal. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins and learn the skills of CPR. Now that you're in position, let's begin. As we did earlier, practice along with the video. We'll do five sets of 30 compressions. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. We'll practice five sets of two breaths along with the video. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Greg, she's not breathing. Activate emergency response. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. The card's on its way. Let's start fifteen and two. Start compressions. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let's review the entire sequence of BLS for an infant. Just watch now. You'll have a chance to practice momentarily. First, check for responsiveness and breathing. If the infant doesn't respond and is not breathing or only gasping, shout for help. If you're alone, begin the steps of BLS. If others are present, send them to activate the emergency response system and get the AED while you remain with the victim to check the pulse and begin the steps of BLS. Check the infant's brachial pulse by gently pressing two or three fingers on the inside of the upper arm, between the elbow and the shoulder. Do this for at least five seconds, but no more than ten seconds. Begin One, compressions two, at a ratio of thirty five, compressions seven, and two eight, breaths. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. When a second rescuer arrives, you switch to a ratio of fifteen compressions and two breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One other note. Rescuers switch roles after every 10 cycles of CPR to prevent fatigue. You've just learned how to perform infant CPR. Now let's see how well you've learned it. Your instructor will put you in teams. After you've completed the practice session, you will switch roles and practice again. Right now, we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice two rescuer infant CPR. The 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC recommendations for healthcare providers include the following key changes and issues. Changes in BLS sequence, continued emphasis on high quality CPR with minor changes in compression rate and depth, Additional changes around cricoid pressure, pulse check, and AED use in infants. Let's review each of these in detail. The 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC recommend a change in the BLS sequence of steps from ABC, airway, breathing, chest compressions, to CAB, chest compressions, airway, breathing, for adults, children, and infants. In the ABC sequence, chest compressions were often delayed while the rescuer opened the airway to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth breaths, got a barrier device, or gathered and assembled ventilation equipment. By changing the sequence to CAB, rescuers can start chest compressions sooner, and the delay in giving breaths should be minimal, only the time required to deliver the first cycle of 30 chest compressions, or approximately 18 seconds. For two rescuer infant or child CPR, the delay will be even shorter. Another key change is the removal of the look, listen, and feel for breathing.
from the assessment step. The healthcare provider should not delay activating the emergency response system, but should check the victim for two things simultaneously, response and breathing. With the new chest compression first sequence, the rescuer should activate the emergency response system and begin CPR if the adult victim is unresponsive and not breathing or not breathing normally, only gasping. For the child or infant victim, CPR is performed if the victim is unresponsive and not breathing or only gasping. For victims of all ages, except newborns, begin CPR with chest compressions, CAB sequence. After the first set of chest compressions, open the airway and give two breaths. The 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC once again emphasize the need for high quality CPR, including a compression rate of at least 100 per minute. This is a change from approximately 100 per minute. A compression depth of at least two inches or five centimeters in adults and a compression depth of at least one-third of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest in infants and children. This is approximately one and a half inches or four centimeters in infants and two inches or five centimeters in children. Note that the range of one and a half to two inches is no longer used for adults and the absolute depth specified for children and infants is deeper than in previous versions of the AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC. Complete chest recoil, minimizing the interruptions in compressions and avoiding excessive ventilation continue to be important components in high quality CPR. To further strengthen the focus on high quality CPR, the 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC stress the importance of training using a team approach to CPR. The steps in the BLS algorithm have traditionally been presented as a sequence to help a single rescuer prioritize actions. There is increased focus on providing CPR as a team because resuscitations in most EMS and healthcare systems involve teams of rescuers and rescuers performing several actions simultaneously. For example, one rescuer activates the emergency response system while a second begins chest compressions. A third is either providing ventilations or retrieving the bag mask for rescue breathing and a fourth is retrieving and setting up a defibrillator. There are several additional changes in the 2010 guidelines. The routine use of cricoid pressure in cardiac arrest is not recommended. Although cricoid pressure can prevent gastric inflation and reduce the risk of regurgitation and aspiration during bag mask ventilation, it may also block ventilation. Seven randomized studies show that cricoid pressure can delay or prevent the placement of an advanced airway and that some aspiration can still occur despite using cricoid pressure. The second additional change is a de-emphasis of the pulse check for an infant or child. It can be difficult to determine the presence or absence of a pulse within 10 seconds, especially in an emergency, and studies show that both healthcare providers and lay rescuers are unable to reliably detect a pulse. Healthcare providers may take up to 10 seconds to attempt to feel for a pulse. If, within 10 seconds, you don't feel a pulse or are not sure if you feel a pulse, begin chest compressions. The third additional change is the use of an AED for infants. For infants, a manual defibrillator is preferred to an AED for defibrillation. If a manual defibrillator is not available, an AED equipped with a pediatric dose attenuator is preferred. If neither is available, you may use an AED without a pediatric dose attenuator. For more detailed information and references, read the 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC, including the executive summary published online in circulation in October 2010. You can also review the detailed summary of resuscitation science in the 2010 International Consensus on CPR and ECC Science with Treatment Recommendations, published simultaneously in Circulation and Resuscitation. As you can see, those are some pretty significant changes. Right now, we're going to pause the video to give you an opportunity to ask questions. Now you're going to learn another part of CPR. 
opening the airway, and giving breaths. 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. In a two-rescuer scenario, you would use a bag mask for giving breaths. You will learn how to use the bag mask in a moment. During this course, for any one rescuer activity, you will be using a pocket mask. When practicing two rescuer scenarios, you will always use a bag mask. Finishing her compressions, Kate quickly places the mask with one-way valve on the victim's face. She delivers two breaths and returns to giving compressions in less than 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. Now let's watch as Kate demonstrates the proper technique for using a pocket mask. Place the mask on the victim's face using the bridge of the nose as a guide for correct position. Seal the mask against the face by placing the index finger and the thumb of your hand closest to the top of the victim's head along the edge of the mask. Place the thumb of your other hand along the lower edge of the mask. Place the fingers of that hand under the bony part of the lower jaw near the chin. Open the airway using a head tilt chin lift. Lift the jaw to bring the chin forward. This will lift the victim's tongue, relieving a possible airway obstruction. Do not use your thumb to lift the chin. Also, do not press deeply into the soft tissue under the chin because this might block the airway. Press the mask down and lift the jaw to hold the mask tightly against the face and give two breaths while watching for chest rise. Actually seeing the chest rise with each breath is the best way to ensure your breaths are effective. Each breath should be delivered over one second. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins and learn the skills of opening the airway and giving breaths. Give two breaths. Watch for chest rise. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. There's no pulse. One, two, three, four, Remember, five, six. Remember, push hard seven, and fast. Eight, nine, at least ten, two inches seven, or five 12, centimeters. 13, 14, 15, 15, His chest 15, needs to 15, completely 15, recoil 15, after 15, each 15, compression. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Analyze the Everybody clear? heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Although AEDs may differ slightly, there are four universal steps for operating an AED. First, turn on the AED. Open the carrying case or the top of the AED, then turn the power on. Some devices will power on automatically when you open the lid. The AED will guide you, but it's still critically important that you know these steps. Some AEDs may have adult and pediatric pads. Make sure you use the adult pads on anyone 8 years of age and older. Peel away the backing from the pads. Following the pictures found on the pads, attach the adhesive pads to the victim's bare chest. Place one pad to the side of the left nipple. Place the other pad on the victim's upper right chest directly below the collarbone. If instructed by the AED, clear the victim and analyze the rhythm. 11. Analyzing 12. heart rhythm. Do not touch Analyzing. the patient. Let's switch. Shock needed. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing Shock advised. button Clear. Now. Be sure that no one is touching the victim, not even the person in charge of giving breaths. Ideally, you will pause CPR during or immediately after a set of compressions. Some AEDs will tell you to push a button to allow the AED to analyze the heart rhythm. Others will do that automatically. The AED may take about 5 to 15 seconds to analyze the rhythm. The AED then tells you if a shock is needed. If the AED recommends a shock, it will tell you to clear the victim and push the shock button, 
Again, be sure no one is touching the victim to avoid injury to rescuers. Then loudly state a clear the victim message. It can be something like, everybody's clear, or simply clear. Perform a visual check to ensure that no one is in contact with the victim. Shock advised, clear. Press the shock button. The shock may produce a sudden contraction of the victim's muscles. As soon as the AED gives the shock, immediately resume CPR beginning with chest compressions. Do not remove the AED or turn it off. The AED will repeat the analyze and shock cycle every two minutes. No shock needed. When the AED indicates no shock advised, you do not check the pulse first, you immediately start chest compressions again. There are also some special situations you'll need to consider when using an AED. If a victim has hair on his chest, the hair may prevent the pads from sticking. The AED may tell you to check the pads. If this happens, press the pads down more firmly. If they still aren't sticking, rip the pads off forcefully, removing the chest hair. Then reapply a new set of pads to the bare skin. If your AED supply kit has a razor, you can use this to shave the area as well and then reapply a new set of pads. Water on the victim's chest could allow the shock to travel through the water between the pads and prevent delivery of an effective shock dose to the victim's heart. If someone is lying in water, you should quickly move the victim to a dry area. If the victim is lying on snow or in a small puddle, you may use the AED. If the chest is covered with water or sweat, wipe the chest before attaching the AED pads. But wipe the chest quickly, as it doesn't have to be completely dry. Some people have implanted pacemakers and or defibrillators in the same place where you would put the AED pads. The device will look like a round or square lump, smaller than a deck of cards. If you see this lump, try to avoid putting the pad directly over the lump. Do not place the pad directly over a medicine patch. If the shock delivery will not be delayed, take the patch off and quickly wipe the chest before you put on the pad. So we've covered a lot so far. Recognition of cardiac arrest, compressions, breathing, and defibrillation. Now let's put it all together in real time, just like we did before. Your instructor will put you in teams. After you've completed the practice session, you will switch roles and practice again. Right now we're going to pause the video so your instructor can explain how to operate the training AED you're going to use today and allow you to familiarize yourself with it. Now let's take a look at using a bag mask device to provide rescue breaths for infants. Make sure you have the right size mask so it isn't too big. Remember chest rise is the most observable sign to determine the effectiveness of your rescue breaths. First, position yourself directly above the infant's head. Place the mask on the victim's face using the bridge of the nose as a guide. Use the thumb and index finger of one hand to make a C to press around the edges of the mask. The remaining fingers of your hand should form an E to lift the angle of the jaw and open the airway. If you tilt or extend an infant's head beyond the neutral position, the infant's airway may become blocked. Make sure you hold the mask against the face with your thumb and index finger while using the remaining fingers of that hand to lift the jaw and open the airway. Make sure you make a tight seal between the mask and the infant's face. Squeeze the bag with your other hand to deliver just enough breath to make the chest rise. Deliver each breath over one second. If the chest doesn't rise, then you are not providing adequate breaths. Adjust the mask, reposition the head and neck, or administer a larger amount of air. Right now, we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice, and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. We'll do 10 sets of 15 compressions. Are you ready? Here we go. You've learned a lot so far. But another thing you should know is what to do if a victim has a pulse but is not breathing effectively. When an adult, child, or infant has a pulse but is not breathing effectively, rescuers should give breaths without chest compressions. This is rescue breathing. For adults, give one breath every 5 to 6 seconds, about 10 to 12 breaths per minute. For infants and children, give one breath every 3 to 5 seconds, about 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Give each breath in one second. Each breath should result in visible chest rise. And you should check the pulse about every 2 minutes. Because many cardiac arrests happen at home, you may need to give breaths to a family member or close friend when you are off duty. To give mouth-to-mouth -mouth breaths to a victim one year of age and older, hold the victim's airway open with a head tilt chin lift. Pinch the nose closed with your thumb and index finger. Take a regular breath and seal your lips around the victim's mouth, creating an airtight seal. Give one breath, blowing for about one second. Watch for the chest to rise as you give the breath. If the chest does not rise, repeat the head tilt chin lift. Give a second breath. If you are unable to ventilate the victim after two attempts, promptly return to chest compressions. So now you know how to perform BLS for an adult, child, or infant. As we said at the beginning of the class, on any given day, you could come across a victim of cardiac arrest where your actions and training can determine the outcome. Now we're going to pause the video to allow you to ask questions and prepare for the next section of the course, Child BLS.
We've talked about the differences in compressions and breaths for children and infants, but now let's cover the difference in the use of an AED for an infant or child under eight years of age. Some AEDs have been modified to deliver different shock doses, one shock dose for adults and one for children under eight. If you use a pediatric capable AED, there are features that allow it to deliver the child appropriate shock. Which feature is available depends on the type of AED you are using. If your AED includes a smaller size pad designed for children, use it. If not, use the standard pads, making sure they do not touch or overlap. The important thing is to be familiar with the AED you will be using, if possible, before you actually need to use it. When you are using an AED, remember to turn it on first and follow the prompts as it leads you through the rest of the steps. For infants, a manual defibrillator is preferred to an AED for defibrillation. If a manual defibrillator is not available, an AED equipped with a pediatric dose attenuator is preferred. If neither is available, you may use an AED without a pediatric dose attenuator. For ventilation with advanced airway, compress at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute without pauses for breaths. Give one breath every 6 to 8 seconds or 8 to 10 breaths per minute. Now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. Are you ready? Here we go. In a two rescuer scenario, the bag mask system is the most common method used by healthcare providers to deliver rescue breaths and rescue breathing. A bag mask device consists of a ventilation bag and a face mask. It can be used with or without an oxygen source and it comes in a variety of sizes. If you're using supplementary oxygen with the bag mask, the delivery method is exactly the same as without supplementary oxygen. Deliver each breath over one second, making sure you do not deliver the breath too quickly or forcefully. This will help reduce the chance of gastric inflation, air going into the victim's stomach instead of his or her lungs. If too much air enters the stomach, it can cause vomiting and potentially aspiration. Proper use of a bag mask requires instruction and practice. Just watch as Tony demonstrates the proper techniques. You'll have a chance to practice these skills in a few minutes. First, position yourself directly above the victim's head. You will use the EC clamp technique to hold the mask in place. To do this, Place the mask on the victim's face, using the bridge of the nose as a guide. Use the thumb and index finger of one hand to make a C to press the edges of the mask to the face. The remaining three fingers of your hand should form an E to tilt the head back, lift the angle of the jaw, and open the airway. Make sure you squeeze the mask with your thumb and index finger while lifting the jaw to achieve an airtight seal between the mask and the face. Squeeze the bag with your other hand or push it against your leg or body. If the chest doesn't rise with each breath, then you are not providing adequate breaths. If this occurs, readjust the mask, reposition the head and neck, and attempt to ventilate. If necessary, administer a larger amount of air. With or without supplementary oxygen, give two breaths after every set of 30 compressions. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins and learn the skills of opening the airway and giving breaths with a bag mask. Okay, now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. We'll practice five sets of two breaths along with the video. Are you ready? Here we go. Now let's practice compressions and breaths together using a pocket mask with a one-way valve. Remember to push hard and fast, pressing down at least two inches or five centimeters at a rate of at least 100 per minute and allow complete chest recoil. You also want to give the two breaths and return to chest compressions in less than 10 seconds. 
You should already be in position, so practice along as we combine both steps into one sequence. We'll do five cycles of 30 compressions, combined with two breaths. Are you ready? Here we go. Now let's take a look at the complete BLS sequence for one rescuer with the initial assessment followed by cycles of compressions and breaths. Just watch now. You'll have a chance to practice all these steps together momentarily. Hey, hey, are you okay? Activate the emergency response, grab the AD. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, now it's time for you to practice all of the One Rescuer BLS skills together. We've covered everything you need to know to recognize cardiac arrest and perform single rescuer CPR. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice all the steps in order. Okay, now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. You're going to perform five sets of 30 compressions at the rate of at least 100 per minute, counting out loud as you press. Counting out loud helps you and other rescuers keep track of compressions. Are you ready? Here we go. Give two breaths. Watch for chest rise. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Now let's look at a couple of key differences when you are performing two rescuer versus one rescuer CPR on an infant. One is a different hand placement. When you do two rescuer CPR, the compressor will place both thumbs side by side in the center of the infant's chest on the lower half of the breastbone. Do not press on the tip of the breastbone. The thumbs may overlap in very small infants. One, two, the other key difference is in the compression to breath ratio. With two rescuers, 
for the child or the infant, you will use a ratio of 15 compressions to two breaths. Now it's your turn to practice infant compression for two rescuer CPR. Right now we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequins. Now that you're in position, let's begin. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. We'll practice five sets of two breaths along with the video. Are you ready? Here we go. Baby, baby. Greg, I think we got a problem here. Greg, she's not breathing. Activate emergency response. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Helps on the way. Let's start fifteen and two. Great chest rise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's switch. Any emergency can seem scarier when an infant is involved. However, the principles of performing CPR on infants less than a year old are the same as they are for adults and older children, with a few significant differences. To begin, let's take things in the same order as we did for adult CPR. We're going to teach you the skills you will need for one and two person infant rescue. First, check the victim for a response and breathing. If the infant is unresponsive and not breathing or only gasping, send someone to activate the emergency response system and get the AED. Check the infant's brachial pulse. Place two or three fingers on the inside of the upper arm between the infant's elbow and shoulder. Press the index and middle fingers gently on the inside of the upper arm for at least five seconds and no more than 10 seconds when attempting to fill the pulse. If there is no pulse or if the heart rate is less than 60 per minute, with signs of poor perfusion, make sure the infant has adequate oxygenation and ventilation. If he or she does, begin CPR. Place the tips of your two fingers in the center of the infant's chest, just below the nipple line. Do not press on the bottom of the breastbone. Push hard and fast to a depth of at least one-third the depth of the chest, or approximately one and a half inches or four centimeters, at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. After each compression, completely release the pressure on the breastbone and chest, allowing the chest to recoil completely. Count out loud as you give compressions. Give 30 compressions in a row. Now it's your turn to practice your compression technique on an infant mannequin. As we did earlier, practice along with the video. We'll do five sets of 30 compressions. Right now, we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice with the mannequin. Coming through, coming through. Stand back, please. Scene is safe. Hey, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? He isn't responding, isn't breathing normally, just gasping, grab the AD. There's no pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing. Let's switch. Shock needed. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing button Shock advised. Now. Clear. Shock delivered. Begin One, CPR. Two, three, Start four, with five, compression. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. Give two breaths. Deliver each breath over one second. Give two breaths. Deliver just enough breath to make the chest rise. Give two breaths. Give two breaths. Make sure you have a tight seal between the mask and the infant's face. Give two breaths. Hey, hey. Are you okay? Activate the emergency response. Grab the AED. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You've learned BLS for adults, but what if the victim had been a child? Hey, Daniel, you There are important differences between BLS for children and BLS for adults. 
Under the American Heart Association BLS guidelines, anyone from the age of 1 to puberty is considered a child. For these BLS guidelines, puberty is defined as chest or underarm hair on males and any breast development on females. When performing compressions on a child, use one or two hands, whichever allows you to provide deep, effective compressions. Compress to a depth of at least one-third the depth of the chest, about two inches or five centimeters, allowing the chest to recoil completely. If you are unable to compress to the correct depth with one hand, either due to fatigue or lack of upper body strength, use two hands to provide ongoing high-quality compressions. For a single rescuer for victims of all ages, use a compression to ventilation ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. If you are in a two rescuer team for children, the ratio should be 15 compressions to two breaths. Delivery of breaths to children requires less volume and force, but you still need to use enough air to see the chest rise. There are some differences in when to activate the emergency response system. If you did not witness the arrest and are alone, you should perform five cycles of CPR before you leave the child to activate the emergency response system. If the arrest is sudden and witnessed, leave the child, activate the emergency response system, get the AED or defibrillator, then return to the child. As you can see, there aren't a lot of differences between adult and child CPR, but they are important ones. Right now, we're going to pause the video to allow you to get into position to practice child compressions. Remember, when performing compressions on a child, use one or two hands, whichever allows you to provide deep, effective compressions. Now we're going to pause the video to allow you to ask questions and prepare for the next section of the course, Infant BLS. You should now be in position to practice the full sequence of two rescuer BLS. Follow along with the video footage as you practice and switch students on the mannequins when the video instructs you to. Are you ready? Here we go.